Well, good morning, everyone. This is the fourth day with no light. I am sharing this journey with you guys because we go through this a lot living here in Houston and it's very very frustrating um I just got the shower I just finished picking up my whole living room and stuff um man thank god I haven't got my dinner table yet because if I would have got my dinner table we would not have no room to like put nothing at thank god that I don't have my dinner table yet I was I am supposed to get bar stools from my bar, my bar I wasn't gonna get no table no more I wasn't get bar stools but my husband was like Jackie you know we're gonna need a table and he was like um here baby brush your baby oh yeah i need to wash it okay take your red bands out i'm gonna, I'm gonna get eventually a wash real quick in her hair um so i could do her hair i've been keeping it braided oh I've been keeping it braided and picked up, you know, because it's just too hot. And, uh, <sighs> can I just shave that off right there? So I won't have that little thing right there. Well, anyways, my husband was saying that, uh, we're going to need a table. He's like, because Thanksgiving, the holidays and stuff, we eat, we eat with the kids and we're not going to be able to do that at the bar. We can do that right here at the bar, you know, put the bar and stuff and eat right there, but we want to put the turkey in the middle. Like, you know, like regular Thanksgiving feast. I was like, you know what? You're right. So I think we're going to end up getting a table and bar stool. But we're going to get our table first. And then we'll work on the bar stools. Because I want to get a certain type of bar stool. Uh, we were been supposed to get our table. Because I been gave my table away like a month ago. Um, but um, we've been stalling. I'm not going to lie. We've been stalling. Like stalling big time. Me and my husband were just talking about that. We were like, we should have been got our dinner table. But uh my kids are kind of big now and like we stand over the the, the the bar and we just like put our picture then we start eating even sometimes when the table was right there we'll stand on the, the bar and just like eat like cause we're all just talking you know just bull crapping you know and i didn't think it was a big deal but the other day my baby was like we need a table already i'm tired of standing up i was like <laughs> so my husband was like we're gonna get a table asap so we're gonna be looking for a table starting next week after all this passes because there's just too much going on there's just a lot of stuff still closed it's just a lot going on i'm gonna wait till all this passes it ain't gonna kill us and um we're gonna look into our table and then uh look into the bar so later on so yeah let me get up let me stop yapping and let me do my baby doll's hair i put all my pillows on the couch like that because i don't want my kids laying on them because it's so hot and i just feel like we're all like yucky and sweaty and stuff so let me what's this baby oil right here i got baby oil so i could do my baby's hair put a little bit of my hair so you can kind of hold that Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Enjoy your hair. All right. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I just finished doing Angelie's hair. Come here, baby, so I can see her. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. All right, clean off that table. I'm about to go outside and do the cat litter. I'm gonna take all the, the cat litter out and like just put brand new cat litter in there. Cause I don't know. You know when you're a mom, you try to make everybody just like comfortable. Even though it's hot in my house, I'm not just letting my house go and not cleaning up nothing. Like I'm not. Like it just has to be clean. 
Do not push on the floor. Push the table over there. Um, they ate on this little table right there. That's the little table that the kids eat on for right now. That's my baby's little table. Um, what you call it? Yeah, I don't let my house go. Like, you, th you think I'm kidding? <laughs> Look, no show. My bed is still fixed. Don't mind this blanket, right? I put a thicker blanket right here because so the air. Look at my bed fixed. Can you see it? The lighting's bad, but yeah. I'm not gonna just sit here and let my apartment just like get dirty and not, not clean it because it's hot. Heck no. I'd rather take a thousand baths a day. My kids take a shower one time a day and that's in the morning. And we take a shower before we start breakfast. So, you know, everybody could be like fresh and feel fresh, you know. So, they just all finished breakfast. That wasn't a breakfast breakfast. Because yesterday we went to the store. We didn't have, we didn't have, they didn't have no eggs or anything. So, I bought stuff for sandwiches. Cause like I said, I don't want to buy too, too much stuff because I don't want to lose none of my food. That's why my refrigerator looks like the way it looks. And that's because yesterday it was empty. But those two pots y'all see in there is mashed potatoes and some fried chicken that I made yesterday in the morning. Not in the morning, but yesterday. Well, yeah, kind of in the morning because I started cooking kind of early so it could like cool down in here so it won't be too, too hot throughout the day. So we're going to be eating that for lunch. But right now for breakfast, the kids ate the chicken and stuff that I bought yesterday because, <laughs> you know, this one right here, he loves his chicken. And look, he has that big old Coke to himself. Look, he don't really like it because I watered it down, but that stuff should be too sweet. And my baby has her drink in there. It's ice. Just like stay cool, you know? So anyways, they take a bath once a day. I take a bath like four times a day, I'm not even lying. And I just get in there and wet myself. Well, in the morning I take a shower, you know, take me a good, good shower. And then after that, I get in the shower and I just like rinse off just to stay cool down, you know? Um, I wish the kids would do that, but that's just too much for them, all right? And then their restroom is in the hallway. So their restroom is real, real dark. It's not as dark as my restroom. So this one right here has been taking a shower in my bathtub because he don't want to take a shower in his, in his restroom because he's scared. I did. I took a shower with myself in that. And then this one right here took a shower like a big girl in her restroom. Not by herself because mine has to sit in the other little piece no, of restroom. No, remember she left. No. She left. Because their restroom is big. Y'all probably seen it. But they have a restroom and then it like goes into like where the sink area and everything's at. So that's the way they've been doing it. The girls. One will stay by the sink area or some of the toilet while the other one's taking a shower because it's too dark in there. I do got candles in there right now. Like right now I got candles in there so he could go to the restroom because he won't go in there. He'll go to my restroom. Mm -hmm. I don't mind him going to my restroom, but they have a restroom right here. And like, and y'all, if y'all have kids and y'all have boys, y'all already know. So I try to keep them in their restroom. So right now I went inside there and I cleaned it out, picked up everything and, you know, to keep everything like fresh. Everything's not mopped. That's the only thing. They don't do that. They don't shake that. But everything's clean, you know? So, um... So now we're just sitting here, not doing nothing. Well, my kids wanted to learn the states in al alphabetical order. I can no, never like, say that. Alabama, uh, Alabama, Alaska, Alaska Arizona, Arizona Arkansas, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Florida, Connecticut, Virginia, Delaware, Florida, Florida Georgia, Georgia, West Virginia, West Virginia. Yeah, I don't know Wisconsin. And mm -hmm. Wahoming, Wahoming, I can never say that one. Wahoming, Wahoming, or whatever. No, wow. Well, when the kids were little, I made them this board. I could probably see it's way over there. Uh, where is it at? Right there. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Right there. <laughs> that board, when the kids were little, I made that board for them. All the states in alphabetical order. I can never pronounce that. And then I did their days of the week and then I did their months when they were little. So I used to teach them that when we used to do homeschool, like summer school. During the summer, guys, every summer I would do homeschool with my kids all the time. And I had a lot of worksheets and all kind of stuff, and I, I didn't yeah, do it this year. Because my kids are a little bit big. Oh, yeah, and I was buying prize boxes. Like if they were good and stuff like that throughout the week, whatever, at the end of the week well, on I Friday. Remember, Daddy, I remember the prize boxes? I'll tell you something, Mom. They could go in the prize boxes. It's like, it's like, you know how you use the homeschoolers, right? Mm -hmm. You remember we had like a spelling test? Mm -hmm. What I used to do, you know that chair, right? I'll put, I'll put my paper on my lap and I'll cover it with my shirt. So you were cheating on your spelling test the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> no uh, way. I actually did that. I was putting it like on I here and I covered it with here. Really and you showed me asked me a word. No one knew where I was looking down like this. I was like, I like I was thinking, but I was actually looking down my pants to see the paper. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't cheat. 
I did my thing right. I did. I didn't cheat? Nope. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I never... Mine's over there in her room in a hot room. I mean, their rooms are clean. My room's clean. My. Uh... She'd rather be in her room on her bed. And not only that, that's where her cat wants her. That's where Prince wants her. Prince been having a hard time because he don't like Maya out here. He wants Maya in, in the room. So he could be right there next to her, laying next to her. That's just the way Prince is. Right, Daddy? Prince does not get out of Maya's butt. At all. And I think, honestly, that is the way. The way Prince is really, really attached to Maya, where he wants, he wants to be everywhere she's at. Alvin is going to be like that with my little dog. Because Alvin's really attached to her. My little baby cat. When he, he sees my husband, the guys, period. The guys, the boys. My husband and the boys. And Maya. He's scared of him. And Maya. He's scared of him. He's like... But Angelino no. And me neither. He, he's not scared of me neither. But I noticed, even my husband said, he's going to be real attached to Angelino. <laughs> no, nah, because each time I hold him, I give what him about someone, me? he starts crying. Oh, she's always babied him. And when, she, when he was sick, she was helping me a lot with him. She was feeding him and everything. And I think kind of he remembers that or something. I don't know. What about me? What about you? Yeah, nothing. All, 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 all you did was start laughing. What about you? Uh, Rocky. Rocky, no, no, no. Rocky Rock, loves Rocky's everybody. Rocky's mom's just baby. a lovable boy. No, he's my cat. You're my mom's cat. But anyways, I was going to say, I was going to say right now, oh, I should get my printer, and we should uh, do some coloring pages. You know what? I'm going to do that tonight when my husband comes home, and we connect the generator, because I did, I did disconnect the generator. If y'all wondering why we're not sitting on the generator, guys... It, it, it costs a lot of money. Imagine how much we spent the last time we were without light and we are without light for two weeks. Imagine how much we spent to keep that generator going every day, all day, 24-7. For two weeks. We spent so much money doing that. I'm not doing it this time around. I'm not. So I'm not going to lie. We, we've been saving some money. <laughs> we really, really have. We've been, and I don't mind. I really don't mind sitting here in the heat for a couple hours. I really, really I honestly don't mind. I open my windows because that's just the way I am. I like to open my window, open my blinds, and let everything air out. Look, so I don't mind. I told uh -huh. my husband, I'm like, as long as me and all the kids I'm are bathed and everything, we're fine. Okay. But the generator is off already. So, uh, I cut it off at 8 this morning. I cut it off. And because uh, my husband did show me how to cut it off. But me cutting it back on and all that, I'm not going to do it. This one right here was like, come on, just cut it back on. I know how to do it. No, you're crazy. <laughs> Put the comment right here. I'll put the comment right here. So as y'all see what they said. Okay, so my kids do have a lot of coloring books, crowns, Play-Doh, marker. They have everything you can think of. My baby has a whole kitchen set, fake food, all kind of stuff. If y'all have watched me long enough, guys, y'all know that my kids have all kind of stuff. But she just she was she doesn't want to do any of that. They'd rather be on my phone watching TV. So that's what I've been doing. I've been setting up my phone, and that's what I'm gonna do right now when I stop this little clip. I'm gonna set up my phone and put on the cartoons, uh, Big City, Greens. Big City Greens. They love that show. And then I let them watch it, and they'll be calm. They want to watch TV. They don't want to do the coloring and all that because Angelique could bring all her stuff out here right now and do it. She has her own little table right here, everything. But she just doesn't, she just doesn't want to do it. So. Just to make that clear with this whole little comment right here. My kids do have all of that. But my kids are just, they're bigger now. And they don't want to do that. If y'all look back at my old videos, my kids, we used to do that all the time. All the time. My kids are getting big now. That's, it's like, that's boring to them. My son does want to go walk into the park. And I told him, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't know. If we, if we go, I'll share that with y'all. I don't know. That's what my son, I'm like, do you really want to go to the park? It's too hot. And then we got to come back home to the heat. That's bad. Oh man, let me tell you. Right now, right now the neighbors, the little kids, they have a lot of little kids next door. You know, they're not from out here, they're from another country. And the little kids don't know no Spanish, but they try to come over here and like talk to my kids. Well, anyways, we have the window open right there, the bottom, and they're at the window right there. And I was trying to give them fruit and stuff. I'm like, hey, there you go. Anyways, I was trying to give them fruits and stuff, you know. Cause they don't have no AC, nothing. I poor kids. I don't know how they've been sleeping in the heat. Yeah, look, look, look. Look at all those play in this big old bag. And then she has that whole big old set. Look. With all her crowns and all that. I mean, I don't feel like I have to show that, but 
Because if you watch, if you've been watching me long enough, you know my kids got everything. <laughs> my kids got everything they could possibly. They, 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 there is no way they could be bored. Yeah. So I let them go out the outside. Look, they made some ignore my window. Okay, my window's a little dirty. I let them go outside and do some water balloons. <laughs> All right, so I just made my oldest son a lunch because he's on lunch break right now. But he called me to ask me if I made anything. Where's my pot at? I told him to get it. Go get my pot. And uh, he called me to see if I made something, but I told him I didn't make nothing. So um, I made him a lunch real quick. He had to pick it up. It's freaking hot. I'm not gonna lie. One of y'all go get my pot because y'all both took it down. Go get my pot. And you, Angel, you go get it. That's true, baby. So go around that way and go get the pot. The, 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 this is what we go through, okay? That's why I didn't want to take my pot outside because I knew it was going to come down to this. They weren't going to want to bring it back up. But it's true, though. Angel took the food down to Rico so she could bring the pot back up. But she didn't. And she's coming upstairs, right? And he's... The angel's telling her, bring the pot, bring the pot, bring the pot. She's acting like she don't listen. So it's like, no, you're going to go down there. You're going to go get it because y'all both took it down. Oh, Mom, you guys have a new car. No, he don't have a new car. That's his working car. That's his, that's his, his car for his job. He leaves his car parked at the job, and then he takes their car. They're probably like, dang, you're mean. You're yelling. I talk loud in general. My husband always tells me that, too. He's like, shh, you're talking too loud. Like, you scream. You're talking loud, like you're screaming. You're uh, talking fast. I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> I'm like, I know. <laughs> I'm like, I know, I know. <laughs> Jackie, relax, okay? I, I tell myself this all the time. But, um, I don't know my husband's coming for lunch. Let me text him and see, because he knows that I'm not gonna be cooking. I'm just gonna tell him to go grab him a burger. You know, he'd go get something to eat. We are y'all ate. I ate me a banana with some water for breakfast. That's my breakfast, okay? I'm not gonna lie, I've been eating a little bit less since this stuff happened. I, I'm not gonna lie, I've been eating, I haven't really been eating good. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. There was two days where I only ate one thing. Like for one day, one day I ate one piece of bread. As I was in the whole sandwich, there was one piece of bread with a cheese and a ham and that's all I ate all day. The next day I ate one corn on the cob and that was it. <laughs> like I haven't been eating really, really good, but um, I told my husband, I'm like, well, I should be uh, skinny by the time this is all over. Oh. All right, so <clears throat> it was currently two o'clock in the evening. Um, I drifted outside and it looks like it's gonna rain again. <sighs> I was just watching some news stations yeah, to see what's the update. I'm not gonna lie. I, I can't watch the news like that. It's freaking frustrating. They don't they don't know anything. That I get so frustrated. Sorry, that mean chicken. This is my lunch because I only ate a banana for breakfast. And I mean a piece of chicken and some beans with rice for lunch. So I just noticed it's gonna rain again. That's that's frustrating off the bat because we can't just leave our generator sitting outside when it's raining. Okay. And we can't leave the windows open because it's gonna be raining. So it's gonna be super hot in here, right? So I'm frustrated because of that. I'm looking outside right now. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Let, 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 let me let me show y'all. You see all that darkness back there? That's all rain back there. Freaking hot. 
freaking frustrating. Okay, so I'm watching news and all that. And I'm getting freaking frustrated as hell. So I'm like, Burr. that's how the rain's coming because look, it's getting windy. Look, look at my blinds flowing up. It's about to start freaking raining. And then I'm making all these videos of this carbon dioxide and everybody, there's a lot of people going to the hospital right now because these generators, because there's generators close to the home. What thing though? The, bo the board? Oh, the, the tela, pick it up guys. It's the tela, pick up the tela. And I'm getting frustrated because the governor is, you know, a lot of people are mad at Centerpoint. For one, Centerpoint ain't worth the crap because this is ridiculous. It's, it's gonna be a week now. Us without no, we're not not a week. It's four days, but still. Is it tornado? Four days, baby. No, it's just raining. Oh, I saw I saw thunder in the distance. I just saw it right now from your distance. It was not right here. You can't hear it, but I saw it in the distance. Not thunder, like, lightning. But I Somebody's generator just exploded. So they have so many people going to the hospital right now because these freaking generators. Because generators got to be so far away from your apartment, away from your place, right? Your house, whatever. And then I'm looking at all these governors and all that. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself and it's getting me aggravated, right? And I'm like, I bet you all these bastards are all sleeping good every night. I bet you they're sleeping good. I bet you their houses and everything are put together. Okay, it's not their fault that we all live in the hood and we, it's okay, I understand that. It, not, not even only the hood areas. The good areas too with that lights, okay? Because last night me and my husband were walking outside to see what's on and what's not and all around us it's off i mean on but our little blocks off it's crazy because you can see pitch black our whole little block and that's including houses that's right at the back of us and i'm like i bet you everybody's just frustrated as me frustrated as me frustrated as frustrated as me when they drive out to the main street and see everybody with power around us and we're the only without power it, it's a big chunk of us don't get me wrong it's a big chunk of us if you walk out to the main street you can see where it's all pitch black at where it's all blacked out <sighs> and then I get frustrated because I'm like, I bet you anything, all these governors and all these people that are on here telling everybody to relax and telling everybody don't be safe with the generators and getting after everybody, telling everybody don't be stupid. That's exactly what these, one of these conferences, these people in this conference meeting said. It's like a conference live and they said, don't be stupid and put the generators so up. What the hell you mean? People are, start, are trying to stay cool out here in Houston. You know how hot it is? It's in the, it hits 100. It feels like 105 and stuff outside. The other day we got in the truck, it was 104. The next day it was 103. So imagine how hot it is inside the apartments, inside the houses. I was looking right now at videos and they were taking all kind of older people out of the older, the facilities that hold the older people in there. I forgot what they're called. Nursery home, no, nursing homes. And I'm like, I bet these families are so frustrated. I'll be frustrated too. These people are in the heat and they're, and they're in buildings, okay? So that's how you know it's way hotter if you live in a building. But thank God we don't live in a building. So we have windows in the front in the back we got a patio you know patio we open the door so the air can flow through and all that look at all that rain coming look how windy it's getting we'll let the freaking let the rain begin f our life to the point it's a good enough reason for them not to go out there and do shit i'm over it